Welcome to this latest video weather briefing. We're going to talk about the first significant winter storm for Southern California. Expected to bring widespread precipitation and a large swell to the Southern California beaches. The first storm is expected to arrive on Thursday. That'll punch across Southern California as shown here along the jet stream. This storm does have at least a weak tap to tropical moisture. Storm number two on Thursday will be well upstream and we'll see if that impacts us for the weekend. There's much more uncertainty with storm number two, but storm number two could carve across California as shown here and bring less but still additional rain and snow to Southern California. All right, the moisture source that we're watching for storm number one, the storm for Thursday is shown here in green tapped out into the tropics. A rather narrow band, so it won't be a long duration event, but nonetheless significant moisture available. Here are some of the highlights. For the start of the storm, Wednesday night, showers should increase along the valleys and coast, with a steady rain developing along the coastal slopes, such as San Bernardino Mountains. Those areas we could see as much as a quarter inch per hour Wednesday night, they are favorable in the southwest flow. Elsewhere, rainfall rates will be lighter, around a tenth of an inch to locally higher. Winds will start to pick up. Uh, winds will be gusting 40 to 60 miles per hour over the ridges, and some of that starting to spill into the high deserts. Snow will not be a problem. Snow level, at the very least, will be 9,000 feet, likely higher Wednesday night. Now for the heart of the storm, Thursday morning is when things start getting quite active. Heavy rain will move into Orange County and Southwest San Bernardino County, as well as Western Riverside County, probably between the period of 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. The steady rain will continue along the coastal slopes. All those areas will see rainfall rates of 0.15 to 0.3. That's a pretty heavy rainfall when it does come down. The heaviest rainfall in some of the isolated cells will be a quarter to half inch. The wind, well the wind will also pick up in the coast and valleys with gusts to 30 Thursday morning across Orange County. Gusts of 40 to 70 along the mountain ridges and the high desert. So some of that wind could cause some damage. Snow level again will be really high Thursday morning, but by midday with the cold front it'll drop to around 7,000 feet and start producing some snow. Now for Thursday afternoon and the Thursday afternoon commute, that's when things start to get even busier as that heavy rain band starts to exit Orange County and move into Southwest Riverside County and then now by Thursday afternoon into Northern San Diego County. Otherwise a steady rain will continue along some of the coastal slopes. Those heavier rainfall rates of 1500s to 3 tenths, which is pretty heavy rainfall, will start to spread across the entire region. And then we'll see some of those isolated pockets of a quarter to half inch of rain that can cause some urban, small stream, and even debris flow problems. Those stronger winds will be up in the high desert and then they'll start shifting towards the San Gregorio Pass and then down into Borrego Springs where Thursday afternoon looks like some really strong winds. Perhaps winds up to 45 in the Coachella Valley. Now as that colder air arrives, the snow level will start lowering and we think by the end of the day, the sunset, the snow level will be down to 5,500 feet and we'll start seeing some accumulation, especially the San Bernardino Mountains. Now for Thursday night and Friday morning, things are not done, but we will see lots of showers around behind the cold front. Some of those showers will be quite numerous in San Diego County and parts of Orange and Riverside where we'll still see rainfall rates of a tenth to two tenths and an isolated heavier shower still possible with more than 0.25 or more than a quarter inch per hour. So the wind, the wind will shift to the west and we'll start losing some of those high wind speeds but still some of those winds of 30 to 50 miles per hour along the ridges and the high desert. The snow level will be the main issue Thursday night so if you're traveling snow levels come down Thursday night as shown here. We'll start seeing some accumulation even down to 6,000 feet and up around the ski resort level we'll see uh, maybe a half a foot of snow or even a little bit more 
as the precipitation, especially during Thursday evening, is locally heavy. Now, the last of the rainfall will be across San Diego County during Friday morning. All right, we have another storm for the weekend, and there's much more uncertainty with this storm, so we want to emphasize that. But it does look like another band, fast-moving storm, band of rain and snow, will cut across Southern California with numerous showers possible all areas. The rainfall rates not as heavy as the Thursday storm uh, in general and for the peak rates. Wind speed's not as strong either, but some of those wind gusts over the mountains and high deserts still over 40 miles per hour. Now, uh, snow level, this could be a little bit colder of a storm and snow levels could get down to 4,500 feet. Again, there's high uncertainty with this storm, but we do want to highlight it since it's a weekend and we'll update as we get closer. Here's a look at the precipitation map. You can focus on your area. In general, most areas should see a half to an inch and a half, uh, less than a half in the deserts. And then those uh, orange shaded areas will be between one to three inches of rain, mostly rain because of those high snow levels. And then the snow level starts to crash Thursday afternoon. And especially Thursday night, uh, during the evening hours after sunset Thursday would be when the main part of any heavy snow occurs in the Riverside or San Bernardino Mountains. San Diego Mountains, probably a little bit too warm, maybe up around 6,000 feet we might squeeze in uh, a little bit of wet snow. Wind speeds will be a big deal, especially um, during the day on Thursday. Those winds will gust to 50, 60 miles per hour in the red shaded areas. That's the mountains, the high deserts, and also spilling down into the San Diego deserts and Interstate 8. So a lot of our passes will be impacted by these strong winds, um, especially on Thursday. And a lot of this will be out ahead of the cold front, along and with the heaviest rain. We also want to mention um, the marine layer is going to reform. And it looks like we'll be getting some low clouds and fog moving into our uh, mesas and coastal hills Wednesday morning before all this storm comes through. And of course, we don't want to forget uh, the large northwest swell. Uh, Wednesday through Friday, it looks like some really big sets of 6 to 10 feet pounding on our coast. It looks uh, strongest for areas such as um, northern San Diego County down to Imperial Beach. And not as big of waves for Orange County. So some of our biggest sets uh, could be in those blue shaded areas as that northwest swell goes between the islands and heads towards San Diego from La Jolla shores and southward. This will be a multi-day high surf event. All right, here's a summary of the two storms. So a significant winter storm for Wednesday night and Thursday. The brunt of it Thursday. Uh, in the north Thursday morning and the south Thursday afternoon. Could be enough for some rock slides in our mountains, debris flows in recent burn scars, at least some minor debris flows, if not moderate, and also urban flooding, so like in the cities. The showers uh, do taper off, but we still see numerous showers, especially Thursday evening. They'll last longest across San Diego County. Most areas a half inch to an inch and a half of rainfall, so quite a bit, first significant storm two to four inches of water across the coastal slopes, especially the San Bernardino Mountains and places like Palomar Mountain. A uh, half inch or less in the deserts, uh, so not heavy rain in the deserts, uh, but still a wetting rain. High winds will be a big deal uh, in the deserts and the mountains. Some gusts on Thursday, 50 to 70 miles per hour, which that can cause some damage even up in those areas. Snow levels really high and then coming down on Thursday afternoon uh, during Thursday night, during the dark hours, especially Thursday evening, when a lot of the showers are around, we could see snow levels down to 5,500 feet. That's when we start seeing some accumulation at 6,000 feet and uh, more significant accumulation in the mountain resorts, which are up around 7,000 to 8,000 feet. Now, another storm is possible over the weekend. Much more uncertainty in that storm. could be a little bit colder, um, and it will produce uh, some widespread shower activity and also some decent wind gusts to our mountains and deserts. So stay tuned for that further storm because um, it is a weekend storm and potentially a little bit colder. All our updates and latest watches and warnings you'll see posted at weather.gov San Diego and you can follow us on social media. Thanks for tuning in. Stay safe.